there's one thing about bullying that people are missing, and it's the reason why we're having a hard time solving the problem. You know, we are practitioners, we're doctors, we're mental health professionals, people come to us for help. People come to us for help because they feel like they're victims. It's not the so-called bully who says, oh, I need uh, to go to therapy because there's something wrong with me. Everybody who seeks help is the victim. The victim wants to help. So if the problem is the bully, it means when you come to me for help, I have to go change other people. I can't help you by making other people change. I don't have the power to do that. I only have the power to treat the person who's coming to me. So I have to teach you how not to be a victim. I can't tell you, tell me who's bullying you, I'm going to make them stop. So the school system, their approach may not work because they're doing a global approach as opposed to an individual handling it appropriately. No, that's not accurate. You can do a global approach. When I work in a school, I do a global approach. I teach all the children how to handle being bullied. I teach the staff how to deal with children that are uh, giving them a hard time. Now today, uh, teachers acting like bullies has become a big topic, or teachers being a bully. Teachers who treat ch children badly are not trying to bully them. They feel victimized by the children. My students aren't respecting me. They don't do what I tell them to. Uh, they're talking, you know, when I'm trying to teach. So almost every teacher who treats the children badly is because they feel victimized by the children, not because, oh, I enjoy hurting children. I'm so glad I became a teacher because I have an opportunity to hurt children. Very few teachers are like that. Also parents. The parents treat their children badly because they get off on their children's pain. They feel victimized by their children. So when I work in a school, I teach everybody what to do when you feel victimized. And if you know how to handle it, then everything gets better. So a, go a global approach is very important, but you have to have the correct global approach. But the worst thing I can see anybody do is keep it silent, keep it inside. You don't share your feelings. Because anything you keep inside that's hurting you only gets you sicker. Yeah. Is that correct? Right. But this is why a global approach is important, but the right global approach. I, If I work in a school, I can't expect that every child who has a problem is spontaneously and willingly going to come to me. Some of them keep it inside. But if I go from class to class, or I do an assembly, and I show them how to deal with all of the typical bullying situations, most of them know how to how to handle it now. But I'll also tell them, if you're having a hard time, come and talk to me. I'll see you in my office. So you do a global approach, and you also inform the kids that they can come to you if they want extra help.